So recently I attended a meeting where they mentioned digital badges and my first thought was, it's time to gamify my classroom. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to use a free tool in Flippity to create the badge leadership board for your students. And I'll also show you what exactly or how exactly I use these badges in my classroom. So hi there, this is Erica from Ever Educating and this channel is teaching tools, tips, ideas, resources for college instructors or high school teachers. And badges, if you don't know what a digital badge is, here's one example and here's another and here's a third and here's a fourth, right? So they're just little badges you create that are not printed out and given as stickers, for example, but just posted digitally. And so I use Canva to create this free tool. I have a video about how I use it when I teach. I have a link in case you want to use it, my referral link, so I can get a credit if you sign up for it. But the, the first step here is to design them, right? Design your badges, as many as you want, that you can use in this Flippity uh, Google spreadsheet to create the leadership board. And so in my case, I'm teaching a literature and writing course. So I have, you know, amazing analysis when they make a really great comment in our class discussion, right? Or you can have great groupie if they do a, a small group activity and they're really like leading the way and making good comments and making sure they stay on task, right? So I have one about creating an amazing post, right, for their discussion post or writing an amazing paper, right, for our class. And so when they do these things, if I feel like, wow, they went above and beyond or this is a fantastic thing that they just did, they can get a badge. And these badges can be used for extra credit maybe later on the semester, maybe a bit more time in an assignment, or maybe just like actually like physical prizes, right? So maybe for my, my writing winner, the one who has the most of those badges, give them a little notebook, right, at the end of the semester, okay? So that's how badges work. That's how, in my case, a few examples of the badges I've created. But now let's go ahead and actually show you how to create this leadership board that you'll be using on Flippity. And if you want a tutorial on how to create the badge, I'll add that to the end as well. It's simple, but I'll show you on Canva too. So here's Flippity, and I'll share all of my videos about Flippity and my various tutorials in the description below. But the one we're doing here is the badge tracker. And so you can see a demo of it. You can see instructions for how to download it and how to use it. But in this case, you just want to click template and make a copy of the spreadsheet template that is already existing for you. And so this is what it looks like here. I've done a little bit of editing on top to make it match the badges that I've created. So you notice you have all the badges here and there's tons that you can create. There's the link to the images from my website. I have it there and I also have it here as well. Though I don't think this one's actually necessary. I'm gonna, let's see, I delete this. Okay. Uh, I have the name of the badge where you see, you know, the X for the badge being available and they actually have it. Then you have the description of the badges. And then down here, so Sarah, right? Sarah has one of the first badge, one of the second, none of the third, and three of the fourth, right? So that's what those asterisks are. Those are saying she's won the badge more times than just the once. And then down here, and I'll show you this later with Mark, you also can do it by like, he's done one of 20, right? Or 0.1 of something, right? So he has 19 more steps to get this badge or 9.9 .9 more things to get this badge. So that's an option two here, but we'll actually see what it looks like. So you have, you create the badge tracker, right? You put in your students' names, you put in the links, you put in the information, how much they have, and then you click file and you publish to the web, okay? So mine's already published, but if it wasn't, you would click published. Once that's done, you go to get the link here, click the link, and then you access it. So here we are, my four badges. You can click on the info and see, okay, what is it for? Who has earned it? How many times have they earned it? And you can go back, you can say, okay, well, how many has Sarah received? Click on Sarah, all right, so she's gotten one of the amazing analysis, one fantastic post, and three of the great groupie, okay? All right, let's go back. And like I said, for Mark, as you can see, how far along are they? 5% along, because it's one out of 20. 10% along because it was one out of, uh, yeah, 0.1 out of obviously 0.10. And then he has two writing winners and one great groupie. Okay, so you can do it by a progress report. If the, to get the badge, you need to do multiple things. So that's great. Or it's just, okay, how many badges have they received? And so they can just, you can link this actual 
spreadsheet, right, this actual link to Canvas. And so your students can see, you know, if you want to have a kind of a competition, all right, you know, how many do I have? And, you know, how am I com competing against other people in the class, right? So obviously, as far as I know, there's no way of hiding how much everybody else has gotten. So you do want to make it clear, like this is like a leadership board. So you can actually see how you're doing with attaining these badges, as well as how you're doing in comparison to your classmates. So you just kind of click through and you see how many they've won. And you can also say view all, right? And so you can see all the students on one page here, okay? So in this case, Vanessa and Grace are obviously collecting the most so, so far. So if you wanna do prizes at the end of the semester, you can do it that way. And if you're going to print them out, you can do that as well. Print page breaks between names or not. But that's the tracker, you know, in a nutshell. So again, it's just this spreadsheet that you keep adding more and more to as they attain badges. So you have just the one X if they have one. And if they have more, you add in the asterisk for how many they're receiving. Okay, so now you see with Sarah. She now has some more writing winners. Okay, so as the Excel updates, so does this game, right? This leadership board. Actually, as you just might have noticed there, it only goes up to three stars, it seems, on the badge. It has that limitation. So at that point, either potentially they could only get up to four badges if you're doing it for rewards or extra credit. Or you could change it up to be like the percentages. So you might have, okay, well, there's no process of do these five things to get this badge. It's just when I say one out of 20, that means you can get up to 20 badges and you have one. Or, you know, 10 out of 20, that means you now have 50%. You still have, you know, a 10 more that you can get. So you can do some of that numerical stuff. Or you can just say, hey, you know, there's a limitation of four, or if you want the exact number, I'll let you know. But you know, you can see at least the first few in this leadership board. Now, as far as creating these badges, again, it's super simple on Canva. Here, I'm I'm right here, create a design. So what I do is an Instagram post because that's a square, so it makes it easy for for me to do. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to Elements. Right, so elements is the one that's key here because then you can see a lot of different shapes that are available to you. So you might even just say badge, right? And so these pop up and you see what design do you like best and which ones are free for you to use. So I just use this one, right? And so you click it, it appears, you size it to be as big as you like. Then you can click on the color and choose whatever color appeals to you the most. You can also up here, click the color wheel and you know darken or lighten the color as you'd like. Okay, and then you know another element that I like is banner. Okay, and so you can see these have three banners. So let's save this one right here. And we're gonna make this bigger and put it over here in the bottom, and we'll change that color. Obviously, you can make it the same, maybe lighten it up, right? And so you have that, and then add a text and say, okay, well, what's the prize here? You know, what is this badge for? And so maybe it's different places, like the first, second, and third place on some kind of game that you had students play. And so you can have just first there. And then what is it that you had them do? We'll go again back in elements and you can look up, okay, maybe it's first place in doing a great science project. So I'm gonna look up science here and I'm gonna see, okay, you know, which one appeals to me most about, you know, with these icons. And so maybe it's, you know, the, the best idea for a, a paper or the best idea for a project. And so here's one icon, one banner for first, I can then make another one for second and another one for third, right? And so very simple on here. You want to use this elements tool, look up badge, look up banner, right? And then look up the icons that interest you and put whatever name on it you want. And you go ahead and download it as a PNG or as a JPEG if you want a smaller file. So it will come with a white background because you have to pay for, for Canva to get the transparent background. 
But in my case, you know, I don't really care that it has a white background because you don't really notice it when you're looking at this because the background is already white anyways. So it works out well, you know, here. If you're going to put the badges somewhere else where there's a colored background and you don't like how that looks, then my recommendation is the website Remove BG, so Remove Background. And you can upload an image. And if you put in the badge, it will actually make the back transparent. The only problem there, you know, as a caveat, is that you don't want anything to be white in the badge because it will erase that too. It will make that transparent as well. So you would want, for example, the word, you know, first here to be black. Um, you know, the white part here will be transparent as well. Maybe not a big deal for you, but just keep that in mind if you do use that website. But if not, just keep the white background, you know, no big deal and use it for your leadership board. If you found this video helpful, please do a quick like and let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss out on any future tips.